I think the visual arts are a wonderful way for people to express themselves, and this piece actually is a wonderful example of our shared history. This painting is a moving panorama. It's the last known remaining panorama of the Mississippi that we know of. Moving panoramas were a popular form of entertainment where the scene would be scrolled from one side to the other to show various scenes, and a narrator would be telling you about what was depicted in the scenes and what was happening. It was painted by an artist named John J. Egan, who was from Ireland and working in the United States. The person who commissioned it was an archaeologist named Montreville Dickinson, and he would narrate and tell about his uh, digs and the places that he went along the Ohio and Mississippi River valleys. So in this production, a lot of unique aspects are special to individual scenes. There is a scene where there's a moon that's uh, made from a sort of wax paper kind of material. So we assume that a light could be shown through the back so the moon would actually be glowing. So if you think of it as very early versions of special effects, it must have been a really magical, wonderful thing to, uh, to experience when this traveled and came to your town. We acquired the painting in 1953 from the University of Pennsylvania Museum. We started the conservation work in 2011 and 2012 during two summers. We took a break and now we're back this summer in 2019. Most of the damage that we see is from its use because as it was moved, as the production was done, we had a lot of wrinkles and creases that happened just through the course of the life of the object. That's mostly what we are repairing and it's a two-step process. So the first step is a consolidation step. So we apply a dilute adhesive to secure the paint back to the canvas in the areas where it's loose. And the second step is in painting. So that's when we take new materials and fill in the areas of loss where the original is gone. It's a great uh, thing that we're doing here to be able to not only restore the painting and make it look its best, but to give the visitors to the museum a wonderful opportunity to see the work that conservators do up close. So the project is going through July 31st, and we are here during the normal work hours and sometimes on weekends, so you can ask us questions, but we also have a conservator, a curator, and several docents uh, available during the week to give presentations and answer questions from the public.